What up guys, Johnston Monster 13 here. Coming to the E Revo upgrade. This upgrade is the uh, steel drive shafts. This is a highly recommended upgrade for any E Revo. So let's go ahead and get started on the unboxing and installation. Okay guys, let's go ahead and get started on this unboxing of the E Revo steel drive shafts. So you always get checks this high quality foam. In here, so that's the back cover. Some instructions, we'll go over that in a minute. Let's go ahead and oh, all came out. I'll here give you an up close zoomed in look of them. Pretty nice here, very solid looking. Has the rubber here to keep the dirt out of them. Very nice. So let's go ahead and head on to the installation part. All right, to install these drive shafts here, you'll need to remove this screw that holds in the A arm, the upper A arm, and this screw that holds into the lower A arm. Also, you'll need to remove that grub screw that holds into the 17 millimeter adapter and over here on the side you'll see if I can focus in on there you need to remove the grub screw that holds in the drive shaft alright so when you have those screws undone and taken out what I found out is you do not have to take out this lower screw down here all you have to take out the top one, the one that holds into the 17 millimeter adapter, and the grub screw that holds the old drive shaft into the bulkhead. So once you have those undone, you just pops right out, and you just should just pull right out of this knuckle right here. That that bearing needs to stay in there. And to install the new ones, let's zoom out a little bit. You feed that end right through that bearing down there like that and you take this end and put it back where that you took that grub screw out up there and all you have to do now is replace that grub screw put this screw this back into the A arm to hold the knuckle in place and put back the 17 millimeter adapter once you install all four of them, you you should be done. These drive shafts should hold up a lot better than the old plastic ones back there. I have them all the way around the car. All four of them complete. It's a little bit muddy in the back because I just did a running with it and testing it out. And they seem to work really well. So thank you all for watching.